to the wire. 8.29. Absolutely no talking now, please. The boys in part, let me make sure the uniforms are sorted. Try make sure the shirts are fit. Make sure the ties are the correct length, please. Well done, your seven. on the floor take a seat as soon as you're ready you can start writing the title and the objectives for today I'm looking for the people that have already started Josh is nearly there okay can I have a volunteer please to talk about source A and the attitude towards the poor reflected in source A like, they have to save up money yeah like to climb out of poverty, but the thing is that most of the politicians, them days, they were born into a rich family. That's Fantastic. why they're politicians. So they they can they can say it, but they've never actually been in that position, so they don't know how to actually climb out of poverty. Absolutely, we talked a lot, didn't we, about the different classes within Edwardian society. Sabine Roundtree, that wrote this survey in 1901, was really interested in the needs of the poor. When you read his account, does it sound as if? these poor people are going to be able to self-help themselves. Does it sound as though they're going to manage that? Why not, Hacha? Because I think that they, they are getting paid less anyways, and even if they do stop buying tobacco or beer or nice clothes, they're, not, they're still not going to find enough to survive for a year or something. Yeah, absolutely. Now, I know we're only year nine, but I'm going to really stretch you guys today. We're going to use the GCSE book, which we wouldn't normally do, but I want you to be really pushed. So let's go to page 50. objective. Some of your written work in here is superb and I know some of you are in the top sets for English and what I want to do is to really really push you in this lesson to start using theory and normally we don't really tackle theory until A level but because of the quality of some of your answers I do think some of you are ready to start doing that, start putting it in. Okay, so blue means you're on your target, green means you're above your target, and red means that you're beneath your target. I moved up about 60, 61 places. I'm actually quite happy with that. It's the highest I've ever come. Could be natural disasters which are happening and how that affects it. It is a natural disaster. Anyone know where that one is exactly? Any ideas, Callum? Japan. It's not Japan, it's, it's the obvious because it just happened. I've not gone for the obvious. Is it Haiti? No, also a good effort. Is it China? It is China, fantastic. Today we're thinking about two aspects. We're not just thinking about geography, we're thinking about science as well. This is what people do for a living. They work out how these things can be reduced, if possible, or how we can reduce the impact of them. So the clock's coming on the board. You have until the clock runs out to complete the work. So once you've got one finished, find someone else with the opposite to you. Come on, answer yourself. Okay, so you come in quietly, turn on your chairs, please. Quickest bags on the floor. I want to see pencil cases, planners. Facing the front, please. please. Boys, hands out of pockets. All right, good afternoon, seven you. Good afternoon, Miss Quinton. Right, have a seat, please. I want you to think about it, and in a minute, I'm going to ask you to suggest, to hypothesize, to suggest how each of these images might be connected. What might they all have in common? Amin, they look like slums. 
Okay, why? Why do you say that? Because um, a lot of poor areas um, don't have um, most privileges. and don't Use the have images, them. Amin. Use the images. What image makes you think that? Um, the top left. Top left? Okay, why? Because um, they, don't, they don't look like proper constructed places and they're made of wreckage. Okay, good, good effort. Now, our learning objective for today is we are going to look at what life is like for people living in Kachitura. I want you to understand something of what it is like <coughs> for people living in this township called Kachitura. Right, year 13, turn to that page. There are two trigonometric functions you should be able to differentiate, okay? The first one, if we let y equal sine x. So, how could you possibly do this, Francisco? Okay, excellent. Why would that be a good idea? Why would Francisco say that's a good idea? It is a good idea, but I want to know why. Sheriff? You can use the quotient rule with it now. But why would we use sine theta and cos theta? You're going to use the quotient rule. That's excellent. But why have, why have we chosen sine theta and cos theta, Yusuf? Because we know where it is. Yeah. We know what, what it is. We differentiate it. We know how to differentiate sine theta and cos theta. Okay? You can do the quotient rule. And would you, what would you say? What would you let u equal? Um, 